Hello, welcome to the first quick hit video. These will just be short videos, usually in response to a user question. And I thought I would start off with this one. I did a blog post about it, but I'll actually show you how I figured this out. I got a question from someone that said, okay, I understand how ignore related dimensions works. It's great for base measures, but what if you have a calculated measure? And specifically, a calculated measure with base measures from two different measure groups. Now, how does ignore unrelated dimensions work? And I thought, Hmm, that's a pretty good question, so I decided to find out. To do this, I created a measure called My Total Sales, which is simply internet sales amount plus reseller sales amount. Uh, it already existed in the cube, but I just created another one so that you could see it. I then took that, and the first thing I did was I placed it in a measure group that I created just for this. So this is basically just a dummy measure group. And if you didn't know, you can assign calculations to specific measure groups by going to the Calculations Property window up here. If the calculation you've created is not there, simply uh, click on Add Calculation. It will be in that list. And then you can set it to whatever measure group you want. So I thought, okay, great. I'll, I'll add it to its own measure group. And the measure group Foo, always a great name for a measure group. If I, if I show over here, uh, right here, Ignore Unrelated Dimensions, is in fact already set to false. But when I go to the browser and look at it, here is that calculation, and I've added a uh, I've added a dimension here that's not related to either of the measure groups that make up the base measure. You notice it still gets a value. So having it in its own measure group doesn't affect it. Uh, you know, setting to ignore. So that was the first hit. So now for the second thing that I tried. Okay, notice what I've done is I have removed the foo measure group. I have come back in and set the calculation to not be in any measure group at all. So here's my total sales, no associated measure group. And then I've rerun the query and it, it behaves exactly as you would expect. I have measures from two different measure groups with a dimension that's not associated with either, either measure group and then my total sales is here. If I bring over a dimension that is associated with just one of them, it behaves exactly like you would expect. The unaffiliated measure group uh, gives me a total for all of those values, and then my total sales continues to reflect that total. So now on the reseller uh, sales amount that is not related to customer here, let's go and turn on ignore unrelated dimensions and see what happens. Okay, I have taken the reseller sales measure group and I have set ignore unrelated dimensions to false. As you can see here, ignore unrelated dimensions is false now. And when I run the query, sure enough, uh, it does blank out reseller sales amount like you'd expect and that drops it out of the my total sales calculation. Now, let's add back a measure group or a dimension that is unrelated to any of the measure groups. And I'll add the order line. It's just the quickest, even though it's still not terribly fast. And the exact same results here. It repeats the internet sales amount for everything, and that's what my total sales reflects. Even though, of course, down at the very bottom at the totals, it does reflect that. So, of course, the final step in this is to now set the other measure group, the internet sales measure group and its ignore unrelated dimensions property to false as well. And I'll be right back after I deploy this. So the deploy is finished. I'm back in my query and if I add a dimension that's related to only one measure group it looks the same as it did before. So that's working properly. And if I add a completely unrelated dimension then you'll notice it's completely blank, which is what you would want. So the conclusion to this is fairly simple. And that is, it doesn't matter if you put that calculated measure group or calculated measure in a measure group or not. What matters is that the base measures in it, the underlying measures, must be in measure groups that have their ignore unrelated dimension set to false. So in this case, I had to do it in both places since I had measure groups or since I had measures from two different measure groups. So just be aware of that. It was a pretty good lesson learned. Thank you.